So these are wall ball push-ups. So these are one of these Swiss balls. They have a bit of an unstable surface to practice on. The hands are about this distance from the between each other. If they're too wide, they just slip off anyway. So you find a good position there. The angle of training the push-up is training your body alignment plus all the arm angulation. So this 45 degree angle that I have here with my upper arm, we want that. If we're going too far, I'll train triceps and it's okay. This way here, where there's a 90 degrees with the upper arm, tends to stir up bursa issues and um, uh, rotator cuff issues. So we want that 45 degree angle. So that's shoulder, uh, chest, chest width. The body stays straight, that's really important. So as I come in, the whole body's moving as a piece. So from the legs through the spine, the head, we want this kind of idea here. Often what happens is this, the pelvis goes forward and back again, or the pelvis stays there and there's just this bending from the top like you're bowing to the ball. So we don't want either of those, we want the whole body to stay straight. For a lot of people, you need to tuck your pelvis under, so the pelvis tucks under that way. So you feel the lower back become a little bit flattened. Because often people's backs are a bit swayed. So it's like it's living with this bit of a curve in the lower back. So a tuck the pelvis under. Got a bit of a tuck, keeping the body straight, including the head. So I'm not doing this with the head. So chin's a little bit tucked, a gentle lengthening through the top of the head, as if there's a balloon drawing you up. And then with that inhalation of the arm, shoulder blades draw back and down. I'm coming forward, and you mightn't be able to get too close to the ball to start, that's totally fine, as long as everything's moving together and there's no pain in your shoulder or your, or your tricep, your elbow. And over the course of a few reps, you'll find that the body will irritate the muscle, which means there's more firing going on in all the muscles. And you can get in a little bit further, it's a bit easier. And you're doing three sets of at least 10 with this, and the way you progress is going to a lower surface. So you're putting this onto a table, for example. Everything's the same, body not losing its alignment, then ultimately down onto the floor, and then getting rid of the ball, you're doing push-ups on the floor.